up on our fields. Please don't put no roundup. Work with the picture from the ground up. Please don't put no roundup on our fields. Ready? Here's another verse. Well, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We like, we like our fields organic. organic. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we, we like our fields organic. And this is no time to panic. Please don't put no roundup on our fields. Please don't put no roundup on our fields. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We like our fields Please don't put no roundup work with nature from the ground up. Please don't put no roundup on our fields. Take it around one time. Now we're at our dancers. Grow food dancers. There they are. <laughs> That's right. Off to the top again now. Please don't put no roundup on our fields. Please don't put no roundup on our fields. Oh, please don't put no roundup. Work with nature from the ground up. Please don't put no roundup on our fields. We like our fields organic. Oh, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, we like our fields organic. To panic, oh, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, please don't put no roundup on our fields. On our fields. Oh, now please don't put no roundup on our fields. On our fields. Oh, please don't put no roundup. Nature from the ground up. Oh, now please don't put no roundup on our fields. Oh yeah, nice. I'm sorry. Well, people have other things. Make up yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the long term and the consequences of its um, interacting with other things, up on water, soil, the we've got to make damn certain we can rely on. Uh, just one, just, just the one. Oh, you're good, Fred. Hey, kids, who wants to do some jump rope? That's a crazy jump rope line. As far as I'm concerned, I Yeah, yeah, and I would be curious to know, maybe you know this. So, Monsanto is the corporation that manufacturers and I'm wondering, you know, so do you live around here? Does the city have a that way? Uh -huh. 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 Uh Tacoma Park, Maryland is the week of the citywide ban. It is so helpful. Yeah, and I, just, yeah. And I know it was a big deal because we were told that we were going to be able to get to the other way. I know there's something up in front. And we hope to bring something up to the city of Maryland. Yeah. Yes. Once you could ever run across the <laughs> I'm not represented by you, but I see you on They were saying in the article in the paper today there was some other
How are you? Good. How, how are was, you? How was your leg? Doing good. Yeah. Doing good. Yep. Yep. So far, so good. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how you doing? Good. Yeah. Really good. I, I was just telling Marianne, I got a, a ticket because I was uh, five minutes after the time I put in the, the meter? meter for one of our events, and then on the way here, I get pulled over. Oh no! <laughs> Going 43 in a in a 35 phone. I'm like, oh, really? I go, don't give me a ticket. I have never had a ticket. <laughs> That's so. awful. That's terrible. Yeah. Oh. Tony's here, too. Who's here? Tony Patilla. He's running oh. for Council at Large. Okay. Where, which one? At Large. Oh, at Large. Yeah. He lives down. As you're heading toward Patty's house, yeah. that first street after the four-way intersection that you go down, oh, he's okay. on that street. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, he's nice. Patel. He used to work with Patella. He was the well, uh, building commissioner when I worked for the city. Uh, We're being recorded by that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right here. <laughs> Goes up on YouTube tonight. Um, I got plenty of snaps from Marianne too. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, good, because I, I took Florida as like... And that's MCTV over there. I'm get some pictures of Tony. So, are they going to be doing <laughs> Administration or no? I think this is pretty this much is, it. This is the... People are driving up, they're handing them signs. I don't know if there's going to be any speakers or... Are there going to be any speakers, per se? Oh, I will. Oh, good, okay. Mommy, how about a chance, everybody? Mommy, here. Mommy, there's a mic. Yes, okay. Well. So, let me just guess this. Smile. These are the... Um, Grow food in here. Yeah, it's over here, and this is the field that they're going to be spraying. Is I that? think so. Yeah, this is the athletic field. Oh, oh, jeez. Sorry. Sorry to scare you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. All right, shall we have a chance? Yeah. Let's all come together a little closer so we can feel some critical mass. It's okay. It's okay. All right. We're only seven minutes into this demonstration, so I think we're doing fine. But I thought we'd just juice it up a bit to get, I don't know, some vibration. Yeah, some juice. So, thanks for coming. I'm Lily Lombard. I am the executive director of Grove Fair Northampton. We own the Northampton Community Farm. Um, the gorgeous organic food operation that surrounds Florence Fields. So we are the greatest stakeholders in the health of Florence Fields, as well as the thousands of people that will be using it in the years to come. So we want to start it off on the best foot possible. So I'm, we're just going to do a chant as more people roll in, and it's good to see all of you. Okay, it goes like this. Up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. Up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. Up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. Up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. Up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. Up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. Up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. You leave me wanting more. You got a song. Yeah, come on out. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Please don't put no roundup on our fields. Please don't put no roundup work with nature from the ground up. Oh, now please don't put no roundup on our fields. Let's try that again. Please don't put no roundup on our fields. Please don't put no roundup on our fields. Please don't put no roundup work with nature from the ground up. Here's the second verse. Oh, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. Oh, we like our fields organic. And there's no time to panic. Oh, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. That's that first one. Oh, now please don't put no roundup on our fields. Oh, no, please don't put no roundup on our fields. Please don't put no roundup work with nature from the ground up. Oh no, please don't put no roundup on our fields. Now the second one. Oh, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. Oh, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. Oh, we like our fields organic. Oh, we like our fields organic. Yes, we do. One more time. Oh, now please don't put no roundup on our fields. Oh, now please don't put no roundup on our fields. Oh, now please don't put no roundup work with nature from the ground up. Oh, no, please don't put no roundup on our fields. Oh, no, please don't put no roundup on our fields.
Are you recording at the Senior Center tomorrow? Uh, no, not as far as I know. What's going on? That energy, uh, solar energy forum thing? Oh, no. It's 6 to 8, I think. It's Wednesday? Tomorrow, it's Wednesday. yeah. Um, Solarized Northampton, that's what it is. Oh, I think it's good. Oh, I think it's good. Coming, Jen, and I know that you uh, sent a great news uh, newsletter uh, blurb to all of your shareholders about the stake you have in this. I, I know Jen has confessed that she's had an exhausting day, and so we will not subject her to public speaking at this moment. But um, I do have two people here who are would be happy to say a word or two. Um, Andrea and Christian Stanley, they're right here um, with their children. They. Um, own and operate Slow Tractor Farm, which leases the east field on the other side of the river. And um, I'm proud to say that they are going to be uh, a acquiring organic certification on that field this September. Um, and they also have a collaborative relationship with Crimson and Clover, and so they both farm the main field, which is just adjacent to the Florence field. And if you um, if you see their their corn field, their corn crop is really close to the site. As as our crimson and clovers pick your own fields, including some of the sweetest cherry tomatoes I have ever 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 eaten. Um, so I would uh, like to ask Andrea and or Christian to say a few words about why this is important to them and why they. Uh, I, I actually would just like to take a moment to share you the story of how this all came about. And that is um, that it's true what Wayne Fyden said in his memo that we have been in conversation with the city for some time now about what will be the future um, of Florence Fields in terms of turf management. And all along 
long it has been a strong position um, that, the, that the fields be managed organically. Um, but uh, what, we, what we knew for sure was that if the city was not going to honor that, that we wanted to be alerted, to be notified, so that we um, could do the respective of contacting our farmers as soon as possible so they could make arrangements and our constituents so they could know. Um, and so uh, we, we sent a very formal and cordial letter to them in June asking them to please give us two weeks notice if they are going to put any kind of chemical amendment on the field. Uh, last Thursday, Christian was down on the field uh, just visiting his corn crop. It was a very happenstance moment. He's not, he's not there very often. That's the beauty of being a grain farmer, is you don't have to slave in the fields all the time. And when he was passing through the parking lot there, he overheard one of the contractors on the site shout to another uh, employee about the future spraying of Roundup. And so he called me, and I hustled down to the site, and I spoke to the, the general contractor uh, manager, and he confirmed that yes, uh, within a week they were going to be spraying the whole site with Roundup, uh, and no, the city had not asked them to notify anybody, uh, let alone them. So that's what really blew this lid off, and that's why I went in front of City Hall on Thursday night, uh, excuse me, in front of the City Council meeting, and um, expressed my great dismay. Uh, I think that, you know, as I said at City Council, good governance begins with transparency and notice. That's just real basic, real basic um, elements. So. Um, while we don't believe that the city is the enemy, <laughs> the city is not the enemy, um, and that they actually have been great collaborators with us, uh, we, we believe that we, uh, in order to be collaborators, we have to have good communication, we have to have some basics of understanding, and we, um, we have to be respected and honor the vision that was really set forth here. So I am going to let... Andrea and Christian say a word about why this is so important to them and why that's um, part of the reason why we're here today. I just wanted to say one thing and I'm going to pass it off to Andrea and I'm just going to say that, um, you know, we're an organic farm. We, we have about 80 acres of land. Um, but we're, we're pretty much here. This is our, our, our real organic island. You know, we farm in Hadley and other areas where there's a lot of farms around that spray right next to our fields. And so when I heard that conversation going on over here the other day, um, I thought, well, there we go, another field that we're going to have that has a roundup right next to it. And I kind of half-heartedly called Lily and like, oh, they're spraying it now. And I really have to give it to her. And I think we should all give her a huge round of applause. <laughs> that this is a really special place I think we have here and you know Lily is the uh, yeah spokeswoman for it all and just you know very passionate about Force it of and nature. it's amazing it's amazing and uh, so I just wanted to say Lily thank you so much for you know you know taking it out there and fighting out the battle you know and not letting it just go go by so thank you now Andrew is talking. I have a pretty loud voice, but should I? Okay, I'm going to use this anyway. Okay, it's going to be even louder. Um, so yes, we do farm organic grain, corn, and a lot of cover crops in order to keep those crops into organic rotation here and elsewhere. And we work with a lot of both organic farmers and conventional farmers. and. I think have a pretty level head as far as what it takes to farm. It's not an easy life. Um, and we understand both why somebody would choose to be a conventional farmer and why somebody would choose to be an organic farmer. But what we're talking about here isn't a field of crops. We're talking about where children are going to be playing. And we're talking about other options that are available. And to have this beautiful oasis of organic fields and then to have 
Roundup being sprayed right near them concerns us as farmers. There is drift that happens when you spray, especially if you're spraying on a day when it's windy. And although right now it's not representative, it is windy here almost all the time. And we as organic farmers need, I was just under organic inspection today talking about getting some of our fields certified here because they've been three years now under organic management. They're eligible to be organic. And we have a market for organic products. We don't have a market for non-organic products as farmers. And so for us to compete in the marketplace and for us to be a viable business, we want to sell organic crops. When you're farming organically and somebody's farming or spraying right next to you, you have to have a buffer of at least 25 feet in order. So that means that that's 25 feet we wouldn't be able to farm as a buffer to where it's been sprayed. So these are real logistics for farmers that don't necessarily have to be um, considered if the town would consider organic management practices of these fields. So let's keep this area a beautiful organic oasis. Why not? Yes. I also wanted to introduce one of our neighbors, uh, Lauren. I actually don't know your last name. Caprio. Lauren Caprio runs a bare root farm with her partner, Danielle, and they live right on the other side of that parking lot that the city has just created. Uh, they grow starts and anything else, Lauren? Herbs. And herbs. Uh, and so they are great stakeholders. And I understand there's a bee operation over there too, isn't there? So there's concern about the health uh, of the bees. All right, well, uh, I'm going to do a couple more chants and then I'm going to, uh, there's still lots of people coming in. And well, before I kind of give my broader speech, I want to make sure that we have a real, a real critical mass here. So why don't we do this one? Because up with, up with, up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. Up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. Up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. Up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. Up with healthy field and farm, down with Roundup, do no harm. Thank you guys. Let's have a word our little musical trio. <laughs> the lady with the guitar to head out. Project. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's just um, be waving some signs for a little while. Maybe. Um, and then in a few minutes, I will greet you again. Stay tuned. Oh, you Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Um, how many people? How many people ever read Rachel Carson's *Silent Spring*? Uh, about oh, over 35 years ago, I read that book, and I wrote this song. No, I just need to put my glasses on. All right. DDT is killing me. Dildren makes me convulse. I'd be so poor with more heptachlor, because I wouldn't have a pulse. Aldrin flavored carrots is a habit I'd like to kick. And munching more Indian apples is sure to get me sick. I am a pesticide junkie, so I don't want to be. I gobble up those chemicals, but they're no good for me. My fatty tissue saturated, my blood cells are infiltrated, my bone marrows penetrated, my sacred body desecrated, I just want to be. Emancipated from those damn pesticides. Palatium yeah. zaps the honeybees. 2,4-D will singe the trees. Do I smell chlordane in the breeze? Oh God, you gotta help me, please. 
from those damn pesticides. Dichloro, diphenyl, trichloro, ethane. I might not live much longer with that stuff in my veins. I've tried to cut out carbaryl. You know I've really had my fill. But if it don't get me, diazinon will. Damn those pesticides, I am a pesticide junkie, though I don't want to be. I gobble up those chemicals, but they're no good for me. My fatty tissue saturated, my blood cells are infiltrated, my bone marrows penetrated, my sacred body desecrated, I just want to be emancipated from those damn pesticides.
So they are also a great stakeholders in the health of Forest Fields. Susan, can you come up? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Woo! 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 Do you want to say anything? I'm okay for now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready for another skipping ride? Is this working for you? Hey, is this better? Yeah. Okay, I'll be up here. Alright, it goes like this. Two little nesting birds sitting on the lawn. One named Daisy, one named John. Fly away, Daisy, fly away, John. Don't come back till my tent toes gone. Two little nesting birds sitting on the lawn. One named Daisy, one named John. Fly away, Daisy, fly away, John. Don't come back till my tent toes gone. Thank you, Diana. That's very nice of you. Is this agony? No, they're asking for more. Are you? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I, can, I can do that. Uh, this one. Is this going to knock them down? This one's oh, not going to knock them down. Oh, that's not the right turn. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, you should do a little booklet with that. Okay, good. When, when, when we... When we win this one, I'll publish this book. <laughs> By the way, how about, about how many people would you say are here? A hundred? Five thousand. Five thousand. In spirit, millions. There's more people So let's just round it up. Let's round up, okay? Let me just do this. Alright, here. Here's one more. And then we'll, uh, I don't know. Do the jig. Alright, it goes like this. Big round pumpkin, big round track. Big round ball that we can track. Round these fields we know for sure. We don't want round up no more. Big round pumpkin, big round track. Big round ball.
first of all, I think we want to raise a lot of awareness. I think that people came out of the Green Valley Project very humble, very excited, invigorated, and I'm believing that this entire site is going to be managed organically. And so we need to make clear to them that that was, is not the intention, it is not at this point in time the intention of the And I think people have the right to so there's that piece of awareness. Then there's also uh, then there's also expressing our concern about the potential safety questions about Roundup and calling the city to I look at the cost of applying Roundup in a more holistic way. From a public health perspective, from a water quality perspective, and from the perspective of the uh, especially our farmers who uh, bear the economic cost in the city of So there's expressing our concern and then calling the city to step up. Look, Northampton is, uh, is you know, this reportedly mecca of uh, progressivism and we can do better. So, Hi, I'm Beth, I'm a PRISM teacher, and our daughters do growing camp together. So, yes, we should talk about Oh, I don't know yet. I just found out I was really
very delicate, uh, there's a delicate balance to this whole site. And it would be a shame to shock it with a massive, massive application of Roundup. Why would we ever risk that? So we're here because we are expressing our concern for transparency, our concern about fairness, and our concern about safety. And I think we're all here also because we have voices. And we work in a democracy. And in a democracy, you use your voice. Yes. And thank you. Uh, and I think we have a very, very simple message to send to the city. And that is that Roundup is not worth the risk. Northampton can do better. Northampton is a green leader and it's a smart, progressive community. And we have the smarts, the collective smarts to figure this out. We have tackled so many more challenges uh, that are, are greater and more complicated than controlling weeds. We, all we need to do is our due diligence and consult with people who are experts. A lot of people are coming to me and saying, Lily Lombard, what's wrong with Roundup? Lily Lombard, what would you do in place of Roundup? I'm not an expert. It's not my job to tell the city what it should do and what it shouldn't do with regards to, this, to the Florence field. But I, I, know, I know how to find answers to good questions. And that's what I'm asking the city to do. And I don't believe that the city has sufficiently studied organic alternatives. There are so many people out there who have. There are other communities in the Commonwealth that have transitioned their entire uh, municipal land to organic management. And they are successful. And it's saving them money. And that's the part, that's, this is the information that the city needs to seek. It's not just about us spoon feeding them. We're at a new point now. We're done with that. We need the city to step up and do the due diligence and transform its policy to organic land management and begin with Florence Field. I'm going to wrap up and I'm going to just say this. For the sake of the young athletes that are going to be using this field, for the sake of all the people that eat food grown all around this field, for the sake of our farmers, for the sake of the inhabitants of the wildlife abutting in this field, for the sake of the, for all of us, we send a simple message to the city. Northampton deserves better. And for, to honor the, uh, the Bean Allard project of which we all were a part, <laughs> let's turn these fields into the organic oasis that this entire site is it's not worth the risk. Northampton deserves better. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 